Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. So again we are starting our other plugin that is required to make our website work. So I'm talking about the posts plugin. That way we can add dynamic posts to our pages because currently if you have just the pages plugin you get only the uh, the static pages here because you can design these pages as you want but the information is static so what we want is to be able to load posts here where when a user adds a post or you as the admin adds a post it ends up on one of the pages depending on which category you've set it in now the way we design posts will be very very similar to how we design pages so in that regard we're going to copy the pages plugin and just change it to the posts plugin and then we can edit things to suit what we need all right guys so without much <coughs> uh, delay let's go ahead and we have the basic pages plugin so what i want to do is open up this folder and I want to copy the pages, uh, basic pages, copy and paste. That way we have a copy. And I would change this one to basic posts. Now, of course, you can name these plugins anything you want. The name of the plugin folder really doesn't matter that much. Uh, what really matters is the content. So let's go to basic posts here and let's first head to the config file because this is what we should edit always edit first so <clears throat> anything that says page should be changed to post so let me go ahead and just um, write uh-huh something like this now this may need a dependency of the pages uh, but let's see how much of it we're going to need now this one runs on all pages except these ones listed here and i think i kind of agree with this this is okay we want to put it on all pages because we don't know what pages the user will select or whoever makes a post will select they could be new pages so we just want it to run everywhere now, what you could do instead, instead of having it on on all pages, you could have this on on the posts page, right? And then what you would do is go to the basic pages plugin and change so that it doesn't just load pages anyhow. Every page that is loaded has a slash page. No, so instead of posts here, this would be page so that your URLs for your pages could be something like website.com and then page and then the actual name page like contact us or something like this or maybe a blog or something like that. That way uh, you can just set it to run on the page uh, link here then it doesn't matter what comes after it's going to accept all that but we're just going to make it work like this for now. Okay, cool. So we have it renamed. Um, that's it for the config file. Let's go to the plugin.php. And then in our uploads folder, we have some files that were added here from the previous copy. So let's delete. Let's go ahead and delete all of these babies here. Let me close that. Now we're in the plugin.php. So every reference to page should be changed to post. So I'm just pressing Control D after selecting the first one. And just make sure that uh, when you are searching for things, it's case sensitive. That way uh, you can change these capitalized posts in one go and then change the small letter page in the next one. So now I'm selecting for page with a small letter and put post. So I'm not selecting the S at the end because some of them are singular and some are plural. So that way I get all of them in one soup. 
All right, so this uh, is looking pretty good. So most of this will carry over very, very well. Okay, so now let's change, let's see, plugin route, that's uh, posts. Mm, yeah, this is for the admin section, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and see what the link to the, um, this is the admin link, right? So it says posts, and that's great. Okay, so if we go ahead. All right, so let's check here. Uh, I'm going to go to my admin section and we have an issue there where the the posts uh, table basic posts. So missing database tables in basic posts plugin and this is the name of the table posts does not exist. Okay, so once more, let's deal with that, right? So, of course, um, we have to deal with the migration file. So this one says pages. Now, here you have to be careful. If you want to rename this migration file, because you can actually do that instead of creating a new one. Or if you want, you can just go to the command line and just create a new one. And that would probably be best because actually even this will do just fine i want to maintain the rows and columns here so let me select all that okay good now it's very important that the class name here matches the file name at the end there because this is how it knows what class file what the name of the class is in here so let's go ahead and rename this to post as well like so so that last word should be exactly like the class name here except this one will be capitalized of course okay so with that let's also change all references to page in here to post so the table is posts as it should be or you can name it whatever you want so let's look at these columns and names and see what we need and what we don't. Now a post may have a title, but um, this really depends. Yeah, like the way it is with WordPress, you do have titles uh, that helps with search as well. So that's fine. Uh, we may have a featured image here. You probably be good to name this one featured underscore image, but let's leave it like that. There's a description and keywords. These are for SEO, search engine optimization, and then a slug. This is a unique ID for our thing here. And then the actual content, which could be quite large. That's where we have that medium text. There's actually long text, I think, if uh, you're not satisfied with medium text, because long text, I think, can carry up to 4 GB of data. But I wouldn't recommend putting that kind of heavy data uh, in your database so if you reach a point where you need your documents to be really really big like they in the megabyte range instead of saving them as just content like this in the database what I would suggest is that you just put uh, a let's say fire name here as a uh, column and then what you do is when you grab that data from your um, what is this from your content editor here, this summer note thing. If you suspect that the files are gonna be really, really big, what you do is when you receive that information, uh, after you do all the processing, you save it to a file instead. So instead of saving it in the database, you just save a link to that actual file. And then that way, when you're reading back the data, you can always grab that info from the file. It's always a good idea to keep as little data as possible in your database because the heavier it becomes, the more difficult it is to manage. And it can become very difficult, especially if you have a lot of users and there's a problem and you need to fix that problem in real time and your database is very slow. So I've had situations like that. So I learned my lesson. If you have a lot of data, like images and stuff, never store that in the database. Even text, if you expect the, the text to be huge documents, save that data. The same data you want to save in the database instead of in a column, 
especially when you reach a point where you're doing things like long text or even this medium text is suspicious you could just consider saving these to file anyway enough of that rant let's see here display title featured image okay so these could be options that you would want so i'll leave that there disabled uh yeah for unpublished i don't think we did we fix that did we fix that okay we'll go through the pages plugin one more time okay everything else seems good i think i'll leave things as they are but in order to run this migration i need to open my command line so i'm just gonna open here open voter and right in there i'll say cmd to open my command line and i'll say php thunder and then i'll go ahead and say migrate the folder i'm migrating is basic posts and the uh file name you know i can just end right there it will migrate everything in, in that folder if i don't specify but if i had a specific file to migrate i would put the name there with the dot php at the end so let's try this and see okay so table post was created successfully that's great so if you don't specify a file name it to look for all migration files in that folder and migrate them so at this point we should actually have a posts uh table which is right there very good and it's empty cool we are getting somewhere so now this error should disappear cool is now let's see what issues we have so call to undefined function post ah where is that okay so it's inside plugin.php on line 50. i really love solving errors this is like the in order to become a good programmer i always say this you have to love solving errors that is your key right there don't get frustrated with errors just you know if you can't find the error just take a deep breath relax take a shower drink some tea come back and look at the problem again you might just see something you didn't see the first time but as you solve more problems you get very good at it the computer pretty much tells you everything you need to know so there's a function called post that we are trying to grab on line 50. so let's see here there it is now i think the reason we have this is because this was supposed to be the page and because we are replacing all uh things that were named page we accidentally uh replaced this so I'm just selecting everything that has post and open close bracket and change that back to page open close bracket because that's the right function to deal with. Okay, great, more errors. Let's see now, basic post, posts not found. That class is not found. And that is correct because if we go to our models, we don't have a posts. Instead, we have a page so let's rename that guy to post singular and just like that we should also rename all references of that let's rename even the small references great i think that will do just fine these will map very well because the column names are exactly the same so let me refresh that come on come on come on come on come on come on what do we got there we go saved setting save successfully oh, you get these messages if they were not read the first time so posts are here so let me click on posts aha uh -huh. wait you know i just realized that uh, we don't get <laughs> We don't get to see what we've clicked here because none of it is highlighted here at all so there's a simple way to fix this actually let me we can use some javascript instead so let me inspect this i just want to see what class is supposed to show an active version of this all right this may take away from what we are trying to do 
the video has gone on for too long already so let's continue this in the next video